Who's he going to be surfing against? One of these two in the water right now. Griff Colapinto taken on John Florence. And on the backhand, here goes Griffin. Searching down the line, just opening up that body and looking for a section. And he will get a slightly underwhelming effort at a rotation on the inside that will leave John Florence in the lineup. Here to talk you through it, myself, Paul Evans, alongside Peter Mal and Kaipo Guerrero. Another epic matchup. We were already warmed up by that first semi. And we're hoping this one's going to be an absolute smoker too. I would imagine it is. You got John John Florence and uh, what he can do. Griffin Colapinto, we saw what happened yesterday. Feels like he's in that kind of same mindset. Griff Colapinto, he's got the juice. We're going to see what he brings at John John Florence, but we've got John John up right now. Up and swing and Florence on the backhand. And he'll go into a first turn that he forces that board through the lip. Just kind of over rotates on the recovery. Quick number. Meanwhile, right behind him in his face, turning pretty much next to the duck dive in Florence is Colapinto. Couple of hits. And again, another mistake on the end. We saw a little bit of this in that last heat. Maybe. Little nerves. You know, this is finals day, uh, big moment. Event number three on the championship tour. Both these surfers wanting to keep that rankings very, very high, especially with the cut line. Coming up soon is the fact that he is so talented. He is at their level to trust what he does and not try to f play into John John. Um, just do what you're doing. You're at this, this high level now, you know, because there's isn't this training to get to this level. He's there now, and so that's what he told them. Hey, you are one of the best in the world, and you can beat anybody at any time. Dropping some backhand hammers on this wave. Kaipo got himself a four-point ride. He's got something on the board, and already just showing signs of that speed and that flow. Showing signs of speed and flow. I think one of the challenges right now for all the competitors to really be a heads-up with is your feet. Especially if you're trying to gain speed and then get back and do the maneuvers. So that footwork is so key. John Florence in live action, off the bottom, and he prods one, keeps that speed going, and he'll go with a sort of reversed effort, which will also go incomplete, so he'll go down there, so he won't be adding massive numbers, and again, another missed opportunity there for John Florence. Well, you think that John would have uh, seen and heard yesterday's score, so he's trying to push it a bit, and that's what happens. You know, you're in finals day, you want to perform, you want to go and do things that are high risk, and when you do that, there's always the opportunity to fall, and that's what we've seen now so far from Griffin and John. They're both pushing. Taking a look at the replay here, beautiful snapping layback there from John Florence on a smaller wave. Again, a lot of energy put into each and every turn. That's exactly what you want to do in these uh, types of conditions, show that point of difference. You know, he put everything on edge there. Yeah, he powered through those, those two turns. A lot of torque, a lot of energy, checking it out in slow motion so you can really appreciate the surfing of John John Florence. This first turn just punches it a little bit extra, gets the slide, flexibility on display, gets back on his toes down the line and punches it again. That was a high energy approach. And uh, here we go, back to live action. Cola Pinto looking left, and he'll just load up that surfboard with a first turn, and then hits it hard on the second one. A really nice combo with no downtime between. So judges got a couple of waves to think about. The previous from Florence, that one from Griffin. Yeah, Griffin's wave. I like it in the way that these guys are doing this, is that they've now all of a sudden realized uh, that they're pushing hard and it was too much. You got to dial it back slightly. So again, going left, so good on his backhand. He's really got that ability to mix it up, but another fall. Let's see what went wrong here. First turn, nice projection. Gets the fins out the back right here, goes back up again, skips out, pokes the nose on the way down. All right, still on the hunt here. Cola Pinto goes to the air, super tail height, and that explosion will get the better of him in the white water. He'll go incomplete there. Under 19 minutes to go in this. Here's Florence looking at a glassy right-hander. Super smooth on the face. Smooth as he goes above the lip. But he'll just throw that one away. Can't collect. And you see that sort of grimace there as he comes up. And he realizes this is not the kind of form I wanted to bring to my second semi-final. Two waves ago for him. And these two, well, Griff will use the priority here. And he'll look to try and turn the screw. Here he goes. He'll have to just drive around a section. And then he'll flare up. He'll go above the lip and collect the rotation to get a little clip on the finish too. So building up ahead of steam that would have felt pretty good to stomp that. Seems like a, you know, semi dialed back approach, but not to the point of uh, not showing us cool moves, right? I mean, it's not conservative surfing at all. 
That time he gets the quick grab of the rail, the front side wrap reverse, and then a quick finish. But again, probably not going to be a huge number. So John will be right in this. Yeah, to his credit, he's able to do that kind of safety held all the way through, but just quick feet to get. Point, Paul, as we look at this paddle, let's, I'll make the point after this because here we go with John John Florence. Yeah, he likes to look at this right. What's he got for us off the bottom? Opens up the shoulders. A nice snap from him. A sting in turn. Then a bit more rail in that one as he'll just rake those fins down and finishes off. It was really important for him to get a finish on that wave. We've seen him fall a few times and he does get a good finish. Uh, John John, aggressive two snaps here. Really pushing hard. I like this wave three turns the two on the outside are solid feels like this is going to be john's best wave no uh progressive moves i bet that was progression on the rail i will say and a lot of that is due to the equipment that he rides uh, these are unique to john wide point forward narrower tails but that gives him the ability to really dig in his maneuvers and this study right here pete like i talked about before is something that this can improve everyone's surfing in everyday condition, especially when you're able to really break down. It's a decent mid-range score, 6 0 7. He's asked a question of the panel. Meanwhile, behind him, on a drawn-out right hand, a flaring up hard oh. cola pinto. Gets it done really nice, and he just has a little look in, kind of defiance at the end there, and that's going to be a decent number for him too. And you see this too. This is a bit of strategy. He jumped off really quickly after he pulled that off because he's going to try and get out in front of John John Florence. You talk, uh, see quickly into it is that it is so amazing to do it in such a tight space. Just the, the spin right there and how corked out it is, how off axis it is. Slow motion right here, you can see ramp bottom of the board facing the beach, catches the fin, spins that extra 180. Griff Cola Pinto, he's done it again. John John does have priority right now. I think you know, I, was, I was thinking of that same thing, but Griffin had a little paddle for a little inside one. And I think he lost it. Here oh. goes John. What's he got for us here? 624, the requirement. He'll go to the air. Oh. And once again, a little bit of repeat stuff from him as he'll go down incomplete. Never really looked like he's super committed to that turn. So a little bit of repeat from what we saw early on with John taking a couple of lefts. The lefts paid big dividends for him yesterday. Right now, prowling on the inside under the priority of Cola Pinto. We'll have a quick look around. Didn't see much happening. Griff will come to cover him now. Get down towards five minutes. John hunting a number. Down to Bells Beach. That'll be coming in the beginning of April. Right now, we're in Portugal, and it is final state, and it is Griffin Cola Pinto. Will use that priority here. The backhand from him on a left-hander. He'll wait off the bottom. Nice quick hit from him. Nice and vertical. Puts it up again a couple more times. He's squeezing the juice out of this wave. Speed series of backhand re-entries pushing through it pushing through it again on the with the fins push it through it one more time why not four you know what let's make it five and a, applause for himself and a little right hook yeah, again look at you see how he gets up on the lip and he does that quick turn of the surfboard in the lip drifting the fins slightly and the slow motion you know it takes away from the speed but the technique was all there see how he just drops that hand Straight up vertical hits in such a tight little radius. And look at the number, it's in. Yeah, crucially, he gets his high score. Give himself a little round of applause. Meanwhile, right behind him, Florence. And once again, similar kind of feel to that. He won't be adding much to his points with that. He does have priority, is on the wrong side of a 7-5-9 for a spot in the final. Here he goes, we'll pick him up. Good looking section for him, he'll flare up. And he will lose the fins on that as he tries to just push that turn. And this is not the John Florence we're yeah. necessarily used to seeing. It doesn't look like he's in particularly feeling it this morning. It happens. This was just a, a heat that got away from John John. Looking to see where John is, knowing that the Hawaiian's looking for a 7-5-9 and won't have first dibs on whatever comes through. And we're going to count this down here. Looks like Griffin Cola Pinto will be heading into the final. An equal third for John Florence. Would love to go into that final semis. A decent result, though. He'll take that and head down to Bells Beach. Meanwhile, Griffin Colapinto will go into a final.